tonight hanging with the Cardinal Cowboy for another huge Cardinal win. You've seen the outfit, but that's only a little part of the story. Thank you, and Cardinal Nation is going crazy for its craziest fans. None more so than the fan known as the Cardinal Cowboy. Fox 2's Andy Banker continues our team coverage tonight live at Patrick's in Westport with why the Cowboy story is much more than that of a crazy fan. It's an amazing story of survival, Andy. Yeah, Manny, if you've seen our World Series coverage from years past, you know he's become a fixture at Bush Stadium, really since the 04 World Series run. But if all you ever see is the crazy Cardinal fan in the cowboy outfit, you're missing what he's really all about, why he wears that red hat and those red boots. And he had them on again today just to watch the game on TV with a buddy, the Cardinal Cowboy is 40-year-old Carter Rethwich. He runs an internet marketing business after working for years at Anheuser-Busch and long after a car crash in 1991 that left him in a coma at age 19 and killed one of his best friends. They were hit by a drunk driver. Well, after he recovered, he began wearing an old cardinal red cowboy hat to games. His dad bought that hat in 1982, a hat patterned after the one worn by legendary cardinal owner Gussie Bush. Friends started calling him the Cardinal Cowboy and it took off from there. He sees similarities between his story and the Redbirds. For some reason, they're not the, the biggest team, they're not the biggest market, they don't spend the most money, but somehow they still manage to win, you know, 11 world championships. And there's something to be said for, and this is what I truly believe, you believe in yourself, you go for whatever it is, you don't let anything stop you, you stay positive, you stay away from all the negative, and you can really accomplish anything. And he's living proof, don't you think? And that's part of the Cardinal Cowboy, the biggest part of it now. It's a charitable endeavor. He goes around spreading that message. If you go to his website, cardinalcowboy.com, you can request his appearance at your event. He specializes in events for young people and the disadvantaged. They are the chief targets of his message. He makes about 150 such appearances every year, all in his spare time. And new on the edge of 10, another thing he does in his spare time. Would you believe Cardinal Cowboy field goal kicker? Live in Westport, Andy Banker, Fox 3 News. You can soon pay more to park at Lambert Airport. There is a new... Game four is tomorrow. First pitch at 3.07 on TBS. And then a deciding game five, if needed, will be Friday. More highlights from today's game coming up a little later in sports. Well, every big Cardinal win is a precious gift for a super fan known as the Cardinal Cowboy. There was a good chance he'd never lived to see any of these great Cardinal moments in recent years. Fox 2's Andy Banker is live at Patrick's in Westport with why the Cardinal Cowboy won't take a single Cardinal victory for granted, Andy. Hey, Manny, it feels good to be here now with just the other games on tonight. The heat is off as a Cardinal fan, a Cardinal victory already in the books, right? Well, it's hard to imagine anyone feeling better about that tonight than the Cardinal Cowboy. For him, every Cardinal game, especially in the playoffs, is a chance to spread his message, a message he seems to share with the Redbirds, never say die. Even just watching the game with a buddy, there he was. Replica World Series rings, red cowboy boots, World Series trophy, and of course, that hat. From KC Sports, I still got the tag on there for $15.99. His dad bought it around the time the Cardinals won it all in 82. The hat, like the one legendary Cardinal owner Gussie Bush used to wear. Can I get a giddy up Can I get a giddy up? And now his trademark around the ballpark, a battered symbol of much more than a love of Cardinal baseball. After you've gone through an accident like I went through, you really don't worry too much what people think. In 1991, at age 19, a car accident in Eureka left him in a coma and killed one of his closest friends. They were hit by a drunk driver. Yeah, I was sitting back here. I told my parents I had less than 50-50 odds probably to survive. Long after his five-year recovery from the accident, he has his master's degree. After working at Anheuser-Busch for years, he now runs his own internet marketing business. And at age 40, he's the kicker for the St. Louis Bulldogs semi-pro football team. The Cardinal Cowboy is really a charitable endeavor. His message aimed especially at young people. They can accomplish anything, no matter the obstacles. Like him, 
like the Cardinals. They're not the, the biggest team. They're not the biggest market. They don't spend the most money. But somehow they still manage to win, you know, 11 world championships. And there's something to be said for, and this is what I truly believe, you can really accomplish anything. Over here, guys. Good game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The Cowboy does about 150 charitable appearances on his own time every year. And you can request his appearance on his website. We'll have a link to that website for you on our website, fox2now.com. He prefers or at least specializes in events aimed at young people and the disadvantaged. Live in Westport, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. Nice to hear the story behind the Cowboy. Well, a passionate young Cardinal fan we first told you about last night is giving a thumbs up to the team. 13-year-old Lane Goodwin, who lives in Kentucky, is in the fight of his life, battling a rare childhood cancer. When he woke up last night, he posed for this photo to wish the Cardinals luck in today's game and predicted their victory today. Lane has his own Facebook page, Prayers for Lane Goodwin, with almost 280,000 likes. People around the globe have been giving thumbs up to Lane to continue his brave fight. No one can make happen what's happened the past three weeks with awareness and everybody coming together. And we fully believe that this is what God told him to do. Lane wants to continue to raise awareness to help find cures for childhood cancers. His family is creating a foundation in Lane's name with that mission. To learn more about Lane's cause and to like his Facebook page, head to fox2now.com. Well, still ahead on the edge, health care on the Missouri ballot. What a yes.